Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, I actually debated on posting this video for quite a while now, but in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I decided that it is time that I post my breast cancer scare story. Um, so we're going to go back a couple months now. This was actually back in June. Um, I found a lump in my left breast and normally when you're young, they tell you just kind of monitor it. It's probably nothing. Um, just keep an eye on it for a couple of weeks and see if it goes away. At least that's what my doctor had told me. And finally I decided that after a few months that I was going to, it was probably about six weeks later that I was going to go and get it checked out. Um, I went into a doctor's office and on the first appointment he listened to my family history and keep in mind I do have the BRAC gene in my family. Um, my birth father's aunt or birth father's sister passed away of breast cancer at the age of 35 so breast cancer does run in my family and very strongly at young ages um, so i definitely wanted to get it checked out the doctor also agreed and he called while i was actually sitting in the doctor's office to schedule me for an urgent ultrasound appointment for the following day so the following day i went in for my ultrasound appointment i honestly wasn't too worried i assumed it was probably a cyst um, but like I said, I have breast cancer genes in my family, so it was better to be safe than sorry. When I went for my ultrasound, they did the ultrasound, the lady asked me a couple questions, she told me that she definitely confirmed that there was a mask there, um, but then my doctor would follow up with me shortly in regards to explaining everything that he found or the radiologist found. So that was on... Thursday was my first appointment, Friday was my ultrasound, and Monday morning I got a call back from the doctor's office asking if I could come in for another appointment. Now at this point I was about 30 minutes away from the doctor's office and I had asked if I could just come in later on that week and they asked me if I could just come in first thing the next morning. So I headed back to my hometown and the next morning I went in to get my ultrasound results. When I did go in to get these results, um, first of all, that doctor's office, he had very, very poor bedside manner. It wasn't too enjoyable of an experience dealing with his office, but he first sent his assistant in. She did an exam, confirmed that she felt the mass, and then told me the doctor would be in to explain my results. Um, when the doctor did come in, he pretty much sat down and he told me that they did confirm that there was a mass that was about five millimeters by five millimeters by three and that it was confirmed as a solid mass so it was confirmed that it was not a cyst based off of what they found in the ultrasound he also said that it was marked between a virads 3 and a virads 4a and he informed me that it could be cancer it could not be he pretty much, his exact words to me were, it could be cancer, it could not be. Pretty much we're just going to wait for six months and see what happens. And that it was probably benign, but it couldn't roll it up. Now, I left that, doc that doctor's appointment and I was a bundle of emotions. I was terrified. I didn't really know too, too much. I assumed that he probably knew what was best and that waiting six months, although it seemed like a long time, it probably shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, however, after I took some time to digest all of this news, I ended up going in for a second opinion to another doctor who, actually, I adore her clinic. She's now a doctor that I've seen on multiple occasions and will continue to see. Her bedside manner is perfect. And so she did an exam, she confirmed the same thing, she read the ultrasound reports, she looked at the images, and she said that we're going to follow up in about a month from now. And a few weeks after that, I believe it was about five weeks after that, um, the lump in my left breast had continued to grow, so I had called her back and I told her that the lump was continuing to grow, I think I needed more follow-up. And she agreed for me to come into her office, so 
two weeks later I went in for another appointment with her and when I went in for this appointment she did confirm that the mask definitely had grown. There were multiple changes in my left breast that could indicate possible breast cancer. However, she did think because of my age that it wasn't anything to be too concerned about, but she did send me for another ultrasound. Finally, after three months of this entire experience, I got my second ultrasound and they confirmed that the mass is actually benign. Um, there are now actually three masses in my left breast that they will continue to monitor over pretty much the rest of my life um, just because I do have the BRAC gene run in my family. Um, with that being said, I have been put on the list with the genetic center at the breast cancer screening clinic and I will be undergoing genetic testing to find out if I do carry the BRAC gene as well. If not, that's great, but fingers crossed on that. I still have to wait for those results. That appointment is not until June, so that is still about eight months away, and hopefully I will have some answers, but I know that even with that testing, it will still be many, many, many months before I'll have official answers as to whether or not I do carry the BRAC gene. At this point in time, I am going to be continuing to be monitored every few months just to be checked up that nothing has changed, that everything has been stable, and as of right now, everything looks good, so I am totally fine, but this was a three-month journey of very terrifying experiences that I don't wish upon anyone, and I do re recommend for all young girls even if your doctors tell you you're young, it's nothing, if you feel in your heart that something is wrong, get it checked out. There's nothing wrong with going for a second opinion, getting a second look at things, and just making sure that everything is okay because it's your health and you should advocate for yourself. Thank you for joining this video and like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys back here in a couple videos. Bye!